There is a world beyond the Borderlands. A world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. The battle between these powers has raged since the beginning. Evil and good. Villains and heroes. A vicious cycle, endlessly repeated. Wonder is the power of a cruel, unpredictable god. But fate... There's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fate Maker. That's you. Heavy, right? Fate Maker. Big responsibility. Honestly, I wouldn't even blame you if you just laid down in a puddle and gave up. <clears throat> but if not, if you try and prove yourself as Fate Maker, then heed the warning I give all heroes. Together you fight. Together you shall fall. Blade-wise, we're coming for you, Dragon Lord. <laughs> Fools, your party of heroes can't stop me. Already I... Wow, you guys got here fast. Like you said, we're the heroes. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary stabby one is Fred. What about that one? That's the newbie. It's their first adventure. Oh, come on. Their figure isn't even fully painted. Enough talk. We're here to stop you from taking the soul energy. Fools! I've already absorbed all of the soul energy. I'm invisible! Ow, oh, man. Sorry, newbie. We missed the soul energy. Castles will burn. Babies will cry. More than usual. My skeleton armies will wash over the land. <laughs> Looking bad. How do we win this? We attack together. Pathetic. Especially you, newbie. They don't make heroes like they used to. Time to die. But then, just as the heroes lose hope, they hear... A neigh? Yeah, and also like, you know, like a sparkly rainbow, which goes like, Quickle, quick, 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 quick. It is Queen Buttstep. The most beautiful and perfect ruler in all the land. Hold on, what game are we playing here? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! And I, Tiny Tina, am the Bunker Master. So what I say goes! And I say there's a magical diamond vine accord named Butt Stallion who saves the day! Oh. I was kind of hoping we would save the day. You will, Valley Girl. I just gotta set the stakes. Now, let's table talk. Cue Dragon Lord! But Stallion, you may be the most beautifulest, perfectest ruler in all the land, but this time, I've won! But, but Stallion was wielding the coolest sword in the whole world? The Sword of Sword! Sword! Oh, would you? I just made those skeletons. No! No! I curse you, Valentine! I curse you, Fred! And most of all, I curse you, newbie! Whatever your name is, I will return and finally rid this world of heroes! And with that, the Dragon Lord was defeated. For now. Explosion complete! Who's ready to rickety roleplay? Yeah, might as well. 
We're stranded here after that mountain totally jumped out at our ship. <laughs> yeah, he crashed it. I'm in. I love bunkers and badasses. I've already got a level 40 character. Now, 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 we are making all new characters. This is the newbie's first game, and I'm gonna make sure it's an adventure they'll never forget. You ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! You've just drawn your own face over the character sheet? It said draw your hero, and I'm my own hero. 
Okay. And Fret, it says your starter sword does murder a thousand damage? My bad. I left off a zero. Okay, no plan! Fred and Valentine can't be trusted with pencils, let alone dice. So it is up to you, newbie. You are the fate maker. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And these fools shall be thine advisors, I guess. Fine. I advise that you better be a badass. We're here to slay evil and get gold. I know you see me as a role model. Follow my lead and you'll be a great fate maker. All right, one last thing. Bunkers and Badasses is a role-playing game, baby. That means you do not break character voice. Kapiski? Break me off a piece of that. I am destined for greatness and glory. This quest is merely the start of my legend. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Now, prepare to enter a world of fantasy. Uh, I don't see anything. You gotta imagine it, knucklehead. Just close your eyes and wonder. You have arrived in the snoring valley, an unassuming and peaceful corner of the queen <coughs> that harbors a dark secret. You journeyed far to be here, heeding the call of the queen herself. <gasps> the queen herself? What could she want of us? She fears the Dragon Lord will soon reawaken! You must find his tomb and prevent his resurrection! What I'm hearing is, we get to whoop his ass! Uh, here's a little cheat sheet to track your health and map and stuff up. Too much for this bridge. You recognize one of the Queen's waystones. It seems to call to you. The Queen's magic enters you through the stone, granting you the power of. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Aura! You now have magical sight and hearing, buddy. Queen Butt Stallion! She's guiding us on our quest! Sure enough, baby. A trail of spectral hoofprints leads off into the woods. A fallen tree bars your path. What you gonna do about it, huh? I cast Identify Tree. It's a species called Jumpus tutorialis. And weirdly, it only grows in this one valley. The glint of edge steel beckons you forward. Some hot lumberjane has left her axe in a stump. This steel feels like it was meant for me. I love a good axe. Great for cleaving, hacking, even a good old fashioned chop chop. A cave mouse sits covered over nearby, though the magical hoofprints continue through the cave. The rocky ceiling dips low to the ground. A true fate maker knows when to stand tall and when to crouch. Yeah, work them sweet glutes. And if you get a running start and crouch, you'll slide around like a cool action hero. Reaching it will mean going through a pack of nasty, pinchy crabs. Yeah! Combat! Kill them all! Ah! Pinchy! They're so pinchy! As always, good try, Silverine. So it wasn't lawful or was it all? You have defeated the crabs! Luckily, they were carrying their life savings for some reason. All yours now! I think we killed everything down here. Climb up there and follow the hook prints.
I was but a humble player, like you, Bing Bongs. She has foreseen your arrival and left a powerful weapon for you. The weapon of a fate maker. It's a gun! Hardly a fine weapon. But in the hands of a champion, anything can bring glory. Wait, there's guns in fantasy? You're in Tainus fantasy, baby! The shrine floor rises beneath you. From here, you can spy a quaint little village nestled in the bodacious bosom of the valley. But beyond it, a dark and ancient castle lurks... Lurkingly! Doubtless the Dragon Lord has made his foul nest within that dark ruin. shield above your health. Pretty sweet. Lost hope. Ahead, you hear the roar of raging fire <clears throat> and the clackety clackety of bones. We're here to save the village. Ooh, the village is already ransacked and crawling with skilly men. We're here to avenge the village. <laughs> shall never. <laughs> Brothers, we 
Villager remains alive in the carnage. But she looks bad, baby. She looks like she's about to die. Might as well save her, Pesanias. How can I ever repay you? <laughs> a hero's work is its own reward. I am on a quest to defeat the Dragon Lord. You're a fate maker. I knew the Queen would send us a hero. The tomb is in the crypt below Castle Herofast. You must hurry before his minions find it. The tomb is inside a crypt. The perfect hiding place. May the Queen's favor see your noble quest through. Ooh, my peasant ass is killing me! wizard who has seen 20 sides of the world. You floated like a leaf upon the Wibblesome winds. You spoke the banishing <laughs> words at Holgren's Pass. Just because you've retired to this anonymous village doesn't mean you've lost your magic. If you can just master this ice spell, maybe the rest will come back too.
are just out yonder. Which is fantasy for saying. So over there, baby! I sense the Dragon Lord's presence! His tomb is somewhere beneath these ruins! Find him, fellow skeletons! Wait, wait, wait. I thought we already beat the Dragon Lord. That was Kermit, though! He's a necromancer! It's hard to legit kill him, Jeff. After you guys went bony, too. Queen Butt Stallion locked his butt away in a dusty tomb for a few hundred years. Oof. He's gonna be a great. upon yonder parchment. Verily, tis a poem! Surely the author would be glad to see its safe return. When you got more than one gun, you can switch between them. Keeps combat spicy, like Jambalaya! So, Tina, maybe after this quest, I could be the Bunker Master. I've been working on a campaign. It's got orcs and kissing. Tina don't play no more, okay? But it's all good! I got mega tons of questicles simmering up in my brain sauce, baby.
The last of the Herald Bloodline sits in her ancient throne, her bones clutching a dusty spellbook, as though awaiting a destiny that never came. Well, this place is super great. <laughs> I love it! Grab that spellbook! Shall I slay evil with today? around here somewhere. The floorboards of the throne hall seem uh, rotten <clears throat> and brittle. of old stone. Being a duchess sucks. My servants suck. And prophecies? I spit upon prophecies. Tuh. That was me spitting. Because they suck. For six generations, my family has clung to this stupid prophecy. The heroes must guard over these lands, lest a great evil rise again. Well, guess what? These lands suck. I'm getting out of here. One last meal. You hear a rumble and a booming laugh that seems to come from all around you. Uh -oh. <laughs> the forces of evil mock us. I am not afraid of you. I found it! A tomb inside of a crypt! The perfect hiding place. I am coming, my dark master! He's gonna resurrect the Dragon Lord. That's the exact opposite of what we want! We gotta get in there! Figurine for this guy. One second. Rising before you is one of the Dragon Lord's most loyal undead soldiers. It's Rivula. Roll for initiative. Tremble, 
Yeah, not happening. Come on, the Fate Maker never beats the villain in the first quest. Still, you're stronger than the ones she sent before. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. We'll meet again, Fate Maker. But for now, I have to go pay an old shiny friend a visit. See you around the neighborhood. Damn it, he got away? We gotta track him down. I want that big bad boss kind of loot. as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only one way, with the ultimate defeat of all evil. Despite your heroic efforts, the Dragon Lord has escaped! Wait a minute. Did you hear what he said? Shiny? Friend? Neighborhood? I know where he's headed. He's after Queen Butt Stallion! To warn Queen Butt Stallion of the Dragon Lord's escape, you must travel far across the Wonderlands to the capital city of Brighthoof.
I built you guys this big overworld on the table. Just move your miniature wherever you want to go on it. Nice detailing on the landscape. Feels like there's a whole world just waiting for us to kill and loot it. That's right! Welcome to my Wonderland! to Brighthoof is blocked. Guess you'll have to go through that tall grass. Adventure awaits! Somewhere! Bunbos and like a mountain of marshmallow cereal for like ever. Ah, oh, Tina, have you been lonely? What? No, you're lonely. I got friends. I got tons of friends. Look at all, look at all these hotties, hottie bun babes. This one, his name is Dimitri Hapadopoulos, and these are his cousins from out of state. And why are they ticking? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked because they are also bombs. Great. Nice to meet you, Dimitri. 
The shrine behind my well-protected and notably unstepped back is for some old god that's fallen out of fashion. I figure if we get all the pieces back together, they reward us real nice. With gold! I already found a piece myself, and I know where another one is. You get that for me, we can split the reward. I'll be here watching your back, your defenseless, stabbable back. And if anyone comes at you from the front like a moron, just give him a slap. It's the stab of the open bow. Never know who might give you the old back, you puncher. It's always the last person you expect. Well, the proverbial you, not you personally. I'm sure your back is fine. The ruins of a shrine dot the landscape, though its builders are long forgotten and its magic crystals scattered. Perhaps who or whatever it exalts would reward you for restoring it to its former glory. This shrine is dedicated to Mool Ah, the patron god of Kashmir. Ooh, you spy a magic crystal belonging to a broken shrine somewhere in the Wonderland. Her coruscating majesty, Queen Batstallion has long protected the Wonderlands with the soul magic she imbues into the land itself. But such a precious role requires guarding as well, as proven by the terrible events at Dragonkeep. And so, the Queen founded a new walled city from which to oversee her realm. Brighthoof! You made it! Now get in there and clear the place out! Even if it brings you to the brink of death, leaving you totally vulnerable. 